Ever take your dog to the vet to get dewormed? Yeah, fun facts, humans get worms too. Lots of them. So what are these parasites inside us? Hey guys, Julia here for D News. Worms are some of the least loved creatures on this planet. From earthworms to the parasites that live inside of us, they just seem creepy, crawly, and slimy. But as disgusting as they are, we've evolved with them, and getting rid of them completely might just make us sick. But first, let's talk about how these parasitic worms do harm to our bodies. Pinworms, a small intestinal parasite, which the Journal of Dermatology says 30 to 50% of the world has, doesn't often cause serious illness, but can cause some uncomfortable itching when it comes out of your anus to lay its eggs. We get tapeworms, another intestinal parasite that sneaks into our bodies when we eat undercooked beef or pork. They cause stomach pains, nausea, and weight loss. Hookworms latch onto the insides of your intestines and suck out the blood, which can lead to anemia, slower cognitive growth, and malnutrition. And whipworm, which in heavy infestations can cause intestinal problems like diarrhea and dysentery. Yet probably the most dreaded worm is the nasty guinea worm, a worm so heinous that President Jimmy Carter led the fight to eliminate it in 1986. When Carter's quest first began, there were around 3.5 million cases in the world. Last year, there were only 22, so pretty successful campaign, the worms typically get into your body by drinking contaminated water. Horrifically, the worms will later crawl out of your skin, typically in the legs, and it can take days to pull them out. Days. When leaving the body, the wounds they create can sometimes lead to deadly infections. So I agree with Jimmy Carter and say good riddance to these guys, but how do our bodies not get rid of them in the first place? I mean, humans evolved with some of these parasites for at least 10,000 years, according to a study published in the journal Science Translational Medicine. We might even have a symbiotic relationship with them. They scratch our backs, we scratch theirs, or more like we give them a home and food, and they calm down our immune system. Seriously, there's evidence of this. Well, one a study published in the journal Nature found that some parasitic worms actually change our immune systems. And according to the book, The Th2 Type Immune Response in Health and Disease, several studies in mice show that parasitic worms suppress the immune system. They promote certain populations of regulatory cells in the body called Tregs and B regulatory cells. These cells play important roles in reducing the severity of autoimmune diseases and allergic inflammation. By dampening down the immune systems, the worms won't get attacked while at the same time, the mice get a break from allergies and other autoimmune diseases. As for how parasitic worms affect humans, well, that's a little more complicated because infecting humans with parasitic worms doesn't seem like that fun to pull of a study. But that didn't stop one guy. A case study published in the journal Science Translational Medicine found that one person voluntarily infected himself with human whipworm and claimed it successfully treated his ulcerative colitis. Basically, the worms lowered uncomfortable gut inflammation and promoted mucus production, which is is important for healing. One of the authors of the paper told NPR that other studies suggest parasites keep the immune system in check and prevent it from going wild and attacking healthy tissue. While that's just one guy, another recent study published in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology found that hookworms reduce the symptoms of celiac disease, another autoimmune disease. So while parasitic worms seem pretty nasty, okay, they are really nasty and have caused a lot of harm, but maybe by keeping our immune systems in check, they continue to live inside of us, they actually give us a little benefit. Gross. If you don't find it all that gross, why don't you just start your own website like wormsaren'tgross.com? No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. While I'm not going to go around popping worm pills to treat my allergies, it does make us stop and think. Maybe we're living too cleanly. In fact, that's the premise of the hygiene hypothesis. The figures are modern cleanliness might be giving us allergies. To find out more, check out this episode right here. Another recent study published in the journal Pediatrics found that kids who grew up in a house where dishes were hand-washed, not where they were sterilized in a dishwasher, had fewer allergies. The kids also reportedly had reduced rates of related illnesses like eczema, asthma, and hay fever. So have you ever had a parasite infection? Tell us about it down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to DNews so you don't miss a single episode. <laughs>